And we have our 312 Silly Goose Islands uh, tap room. Have you been on the tour? Uh, you get a free glass there. And uh, the pretzels are great. We've got, we've got cake going. And up next for our 312 Silly Goose Island tap rooms. Have you been there, been on tour? You get a free glass. The pretzels are really great. We have one of my greatest friends in the whole wide world. We got Cat Gutsick. And leading us off, the one, the only, for the 312 Silly Goose Island tap rooms. Have you been on the tour? They get a free glass there. The pretzels are super great. We have Matt Kennedy. <laughs> Oh, and Meg's going to be getting that glass filled up pretty soon, I believe. In fact, she's going to need it because she's going to have to go and be up against the blue team. The one, the only, the Chicago Bosses. And leading us off for the Chicago Bosses, we have Chip Aquan. And our team would not be complete without this wonderful player, the one who's gonna bring us all down to victory. You know her, it's Katie Waldron. <coughs> and of course, leading as captain, the one, the only, the one behind them, all of the Chicago Bosses winners for all of time, we have Simon Geyer. Peekaboo. Oh, and the one who's fair, the one who's going to give all those rules a uh, meaning, we've got Cynthia Kamak. <coughs> That's right. Welcome, loyal fans. Welcome. Step right up to your keyboards, your electronic devices. It's me, Rep Cynthia. Oh, Thomas B. Clone, you nailed all of that, you know? You well, got you almost everything down except uh, one thing. There's one t foul that we haven't talked about. We're, you know, on our computers. Some of us have Comcast and don't have a stable internet connection. So if those people um, freeze or, you know, any of that point, if they don't unmute themselves, then they're going to get the technical foul. That's right. And with the technical foul, I can uh, take away points. I can make them apologize to our loyal fans. If they really need that, they'll let me know in the chat, all right? And by then, I mean y'all are going to let me know in that chat what you want if I call a technical foul. And ultimately, the choice is mine. All right, so uh, we've got the rules, and now we got to get ready, y'all, to do some magical Twitch improv. <coughs> Captain, uh, a screen, please. Get on the screen. Well, 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 if we don't have Captain Simon and Captain Meg, both holding things that they probably love putting their mouths on. All right, well, um, perfect, perfect. We've got a coin toss and that coin toss uh, includes um, both of you. I wanna see whoever can balance their uh, item in their hand on their face um, first. I'm gonna take the L. Yeah, this feels unfair, but I don't want to lose it. I mean, I didn't, didn't say you couldn't value. use your hand. I didn't say you couldn't use your hand, Captain Meg. You know what? You made the rules up on your own, and you know what? Both of you did a great job. Simon uh, was hands free right away, but that doesn't matter, Captain Meg. Uh, I'm gonna let you call the first game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What would you like to call for our uh, head to head? Thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to take a victory step. Ooh, refreshing we h20 no we didn't yes we did we'd love to play categories perfect captain uh captain simon do you do you how do you feel about that well, uh, i Come feel on, like if i said no you'd still say we were gonna do the, the meg thing so yeah i mean that's how the game is i'm the youngest i'm Great. the baby uh, of the family it turns out both these captains understand how comedy sports works, which is great. And now we are going to play the game of categories. So what I need from our loyal fans is I want you to put a bunch of different categories. That's um, things that have a lot of things that go in them. Type those into the little chat. All right. And what makes this a category 
is I'm going to call on people. They have to name something within that category, but uh, I can scatter their brain and change it up. If somebody were to say blue uh, for colors, I could say, uh, that's right. And chip something uh, that is also, and then they might say uh, the perfect jazz, uh, jazz genre. And I would agree, uh, but bebop is pretty close behind. All right, so I can change it up as we go on. All right, but you know what? If somebody screws up, I'm not gonna tolerate it and they're gonna have to leave the screen. The last team with a team player on the screen gets five points for this game of categories. And we have got a lot of uh, categories in that chat and by a lot, I mean eight. So keep them coming folks. All right, we're gonna start with kinds of beans. Kinds of beans, my favorite meat. It's the musical fruit. All right, here we go. Kinds of beans, players for the game of categories. Are you ready? Oh, yes. yes. Perfect. Uh, hate. Garbanzos. Simon. Jelly. Cat. Lima. Chip. Kidney bean. Meg. Cindy, the elementary school teacher I used to work with. Katie. The uh, Pinto. Simon. Green. Kate. Great Northern Beans. Pat. Mister. Chip. <laughs> Butter. Which is also a... Dairy item. <laughs> Kate. Milk. Cat. Goat milk. Katie. Cheese. Simon. Custard. Mag. Mag. Uh, cream cheese. Kate. Flan. Chip. Condensed milk. Ooh. Cat. Ice cream. Which is also a... Things we scream for. <laughs> Simon. No reason because just like, <laughs> look around, you know? All right, all right. I'm sorry, that is making it too real and people are here to escape reality. Captain Simon, I'm sorry, but your too realness has to leave the screen. Uh, goodbye. All right, loyal fans, that was great. Uh, Simon, I still love you. All right, um, now we're gonna go with <laughs> everyone's favorite types of, of, of football teams. Football teams, everyone. Football teams. And I know all of them, so watch it. Here <laughs> we go, Cat. The Washington football team. Kate. The Chicago Bears. Katie. The Seahawks. Meg. Boston College Eagles. Chip. The New Orleans Saints. Chip. The Washington Commanders. Kate. The University of Arizona Wildcats. Cat. Northwestern Wildcats. Meg. Portsmouth Clippers. <laughs> Which is also where I went to school. <laughs> Katie. I went to school at Plainfield High School. Chip. Oh, oh is... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna call you right there, Katie. Mm -hmm. These are places that Meg specifically went to school. So uh wow, Cynthia, you're tough, but fair, leave the screen. All right, thank you. <coughs> All right, we're going on to wow. Canadian provinces. Canadian provinces. Here we go, Chip. Ottawa. Meg. I would get back. <laughs> wow. Okay. I asked for Meg. Can't went. Can't leave the screen. You know. I, yeah. That's here. Ottawa's not a city. Ottawa's a city. You know what? And I make up the rules. Too late. Time. Statute of limitations. I don't care. I don't care about it. All right. We are going on to orchestra instruments. You want? Did you have something you wanted to say? Okay. Did you want a question? I heard. I don't think so. Uh, if you do, I hope you play a little orchestra instrument. Kate. Viola. Meg. The cello. Chip. The bassoon. Meg. A flute. Kate. Oboe. Chip. The trumpet. Meg. The cymbals. Kate. A timpani. Which is also. Uh, a <laughs> word that is fun to say. That's correct. Chip. Cahoots. <laughs> Meg. Glockenspiel! Kate. Okay. Bag. 
Ticonderoga. Tip. Flirty. Which is also. An attitude. Ooh, Kate. A bad one. Mag. No way, get out of here. Mag. Uh, I think yeah. Kate. Uh, I think no. Tip. I'd like to speak to your manager. Ooh, Mag. <sighs> Um, I'm not responsible for him. You're right, you aren't. And that was a little too much uh, um in front of there. That's right. I know what you're thinking, but Cynthia, and you know what I'm thinking? Get off my screen, Meg. Thank you for playing. All right. We've got one player from each team. Who's going to win? We'll find out when uh, math, wow, mathematical operations. It's getting hard up in her. Now, Chip, I let you go with that Ottawa one that I clearly knew was wrong, but I'm trying to help you out. What are you going to do? So, uh, mathematical operations. Here we go. Math <coughs> player up gets five points. Mathematical? Team not medical? Math mathematical. Mathematical. Great. Mathematical operations. Go ahead, Kate. Great. Division. <laughs> Great, Chip. Addition. Kate. Subtraction. Kate. Finding a hypotenuse. A hypotenuse is different than a hypothesis. I'm going to stop. I said a hypotenuse of I a know, triangle. I'm calling myself. Oh, I'm out. I didn't say you were wrong, Kate, but now you're yelling at me. So bye-bye. Uh, and the point goes to the I had so many more mathematical operations. I'm sure. You know, sometimes this is a great moment to remember that sometimes you have to be vulnerable and you have to be aware when people are telling you that they're doing something wrong. And I also maybe need to work on my tone of voice when I say what I'm doing wrong. And maybe that was the breakdown in communication. Thomas thoughts. It's it's all about communication. It's okay to have some valid feelings, but like sometimes you need to take a step back for yourself. That's right. And uh, we can learn all about that. Comedy sports does workshops. All right. Anyway, um, I need my captain of the bosses to get up on that screen. Wow. What a win, Simon. What a win. You know? Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> what game would you like to call for your first team choice game? Well, uh, I would like to play alternate dubbing, please. Oh, I love it. I love it because I understand how it works, as I'm sure does your team. Screen your team. Loyal fans, in the game of alternate dubbing, what's going to happen is each of our players are going to do the voice for their other teammates. All right. So, um, of course, uh, when Captain Simon moves their lips, uh, the person doing their voice is Katie. It sounds like this. Hi, y'all. That's me. Timothy. Great, perfect. Yep, yep. And then when Katie speaks with opening and closing their mouth, Chip will do their voice. It sounds like this. I talk like this. Perfect. And when Chip moves their mouth, uh, guess what, Captain Simon? What's that Chip sound like? Chip in the house. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. So you see how it works. You are going to be entertained to the nines. Or maybe you won't. We'll find out. I do need a suggestion, however, oh, of a, an article of clothing that you would hang on your door that isn't a hat. All right? Simon, don't look back then, okay? I know, I know what you're thinking, Cynthia. You just clearly said something that is right in front of you. And it's true. All right. Okay. Oh, Dark Hunter, you are correct. A scarf. A scarf is what you would hang up. So scarf is your suggestion for the game of alternate dubbing. Bosses, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. <laughs> and go. Oh, I love sweater and scarf weather. I just, I, I love a good scarf. Oh, yeah, me too. It just warms up my body like a good summer day. Uh, summer? Yes, a summer scarf. I love a summer scarf. I, you know what? I, I can't find any of my summer scarves. Oh, uh, I, 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 I hate winter. It's stupid. I'll just, just want to be sweating. 
I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to be chilling. I want to be sweating. I just want to be dripping nasty sweat. Oh, well, don't don't be contrary just to be contrary. There's good there's good weather for every kind of clothes scarf. Oh, listen, I have multiple scarves. I don't mind sharing. Does somebody need a scarf? I got a blue one. I got a red one. I got an orange one. I got this one and that one. No, I'm not trying to be contrary. I just if I'm. If I'm dry, I'm not the guy, okay? That's, you know, that's my, that's always been my tagline, okay? I want to be glistening. You, you got a good tagline. That's a great tagline. I should come up with one of my own. Let's see, uh, stars and scarves for all my barfs. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's good, that's good, that's a really good one. Scarves and scarves for all my barfs! I want a, I want a tagline too! Friends that scarf together are together forever and ever 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 and Well, loyal fans, you're going to have to lock that one in your brain forever and ever and ever and ever and ever as I bring Captain Meg to the screen. Hello. Yep, look at you. You're staying hydrated. Congratulations, Meg. Uh, Rev Cinders, I saw a challenge in the chat for a bonus point, and I would like to accept that challenge. Oh my God. Well, what, let me, oh, we accept your apology, Rev Cynthia. Oh, thank you, Dark Hunter. I don't see anything else. What is, uh, about what is the finishing, challenge? About finishing my water. Oh, it must have been up there. Okay. Okay. Um, and what is, if you finish your water, what? You get a point? I would up like there. to accept that bonus point, please. Okay. Uh, go ahead. I'm going to give you a hot four seconds to finish it. Oh, that is a, that's a healthy, that's a healthy gulp. Great. Yep, you get a point, which makes point our me, baby. Thomas that, that means the bosses have five points and the three, one, two, silly gooses. Have you been to the tap room? Uh, they have tours where you get a free glass. They're all, they also have wonderful pretzels there, have one point. Wow, wow, it's slightly closer. So Meg, what are you gonna call for your team in this Thank you very much. Uh, we'd love to play the classic game of silly geese, silly meese, silly fleece. And it's a panel game. Someone's going to be a silly geese. Someone will be a silly meese. And someone will be a silly fleece. So we're <laughs> going to need some suggestions uh, uh, in, the, in the thing of questions. Great, great. You and your team get ready to be meese, fleece, and the other thing. Great. All right, loyal fans. Great. That's right, this is a panel game. So I want you to start typing in that chat any questions that you potentially have. They don't, it doesn't have to be about meese or fleece or geese. It could be everyday questions like, no, I have to do my taxes, how? Or I have a red stain in my carpet. How do I get that out or do I rip up the carpet? I don't have that, Thomas, okay? I don't, it was, it was an example. <laughs> Look, I paid taxes last year. I don't have to pay them this year. Uh, that's, I don't think that's how that works. But if you did think that, then maybe you would type that in in our, in our chat. Great. Um, so like just with your fingers, go ahead and type, type those questions in, All right? Because if I don't have questions, then, then this game is not going to do well. Okay? I'm just going to be honest with you, Loyal. No, no. No, it's not. Um, you will okay. watch. <laughs> It'll be rough. It'll be rough. Also, be rough. loyal fans, I don't know if you've noticed, but um, Thomas and I are wearing the same headgear, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, glasses. Glasses for fashion, folks, all right? Don't need them for the eyes. Perfect vision. All right. Geeses, fleeces, and automobiles, are you ready? I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping so. Because here we go. They are going to each introduce themselves as you all are putting more questions in that chat. 
I'm going to start with uh, the brown beanie. Please introduce yourself. Well, hello. It's very nice to be seen and very nice to see you all. Um, my name is Locket. I am a mouse. And some people don't know that the plural of mouse is actually meese, not mice. Don't confuse me for a moose because it could step on me and kill me. Wow, keeping it real, Locket. Love it. All right, and who is in that beautiful red zippity do? Who are you? Hi, um, my name is Gorgonzola, and I'm a fleece. And I'm very shy. And I haven't left the field. And this is very overwhelming for me. Yeah, we're going to get through it, Gorgonzola, OK? And then who do we have left? Please introduce yourself. <laughs> Are you hearing a goose? Great. Great. Um, great. You're a goose, and I believe your name is Honk Honk Honk, so thank you. All right, so here are the questions I have for my geese's, um, nieces, and uh, Gorgonzola, the gooses. All right, here's our first question. How can I be 100% certain that there aren't invisible monsters underneath my bed? We're going to start with you, Locket. Oh, that is a really good question. And the thing about monsters under the bed is that you never know. Uh, I face monsters every day. And I'm not just talking about the demons inside my little mouse soul. I'm talking about all of the huge people and animals that encroach on my life. So how can you be sure? Well, you just gotta look. You gotta make sure that you're seeing everything around you and be aware of your environment. Wow, speaking of that, Gorgonzola, uh, same question. You can't, Invisible you monsters? can't be, you can't be sure of anything. They're definitely there. People count you. They count you as they try to go to sleep. They count you and your family, but they don't know where your family's been. They're all there. Okay, wow, that is, that is quite, the, uh, Goose, honk, honk, honk. <laughs> Okay. Great, great. And uh, I believe Hong Kong said it's only a two percent of the time. Two percent of the time is when those those invisible monsters will be under your bed. On to our next question: Should I stay anonymous after winning the lottery? That's from Zoro and Zoro. I was gonna say Zoro Ander Sons, but it's Zoro Anderson. Um, should I stay anonymous after winning the lottery? Gorgonzola, what do you think? Oh my God, anytime you can stay anonymous, oh my God, do it. Do it, do it. Don't let anyone see you. Uh, wow, I had, a, I had a feeling. Uh, honk, honk, honk. <coughs> anonymous af after winning the lottery? <coughs> oh, your friends will come out from behind the woodworks and you're happy to give them the money. I love it. Honk, honk, honk. Love it. Lock it? What do you think? What do you say, lock it? Should you stay anonymous after winning the lottery? Let me tell you something. We don't get a whole lot of opportunities in the world of mouse. So when you find something that's just too good to be true, I tell you, what you need to do is you just need to capitalize on that opportunity and just okay. grab it. Take it All right. and run with it. Be known. Make yourself known. Oh, okay. No, right. don't do it. Don't do it. Hide. Oh, the ghost no. wants in on the cheese. Okay. That's time. That's time. All right, loyal fans, uh, Thomas is about to put a poll up up in that chat. And you have to vote for either uh, the bosses and the game of alternate dubbing, or you have to vote for the Silly Willy Geese um, 312 and all of that. 
Um, so who do you want to win? Alternate dubbing or cheat? Also, this is a great reminder that you should not feed animals out in the wild, all right? It's dangerous for them, it's dangerous for you. You know, there's plenty of other mouths to feed. You don't need a goose or a squirrel running up and down our leg and being like, ooh, I thought we were best friends, all right? It's dangerous, because then what if they run up and down your leg and now you're on a bike? And then, oh, what happened to that cute little squirrel or that cute little goose, all right? I'm gonna tell you what, a cute little goose and squirrel is not great for your bicycle or your heart. Don't even think about it, all right? So um, as, as that pole gets up in, here it comes. Wow, is it is it already happening? Oh, get your votes in. Vote once, vote twice, one, two, three times a voter. We're in Chicago, vote as many times as you can with your points. I've talked a lot, Thomas. Absolutely, I'll take it over from here. In fact, right now we've got a pretty heavy landslide going on this polls, but you can change it up with channel points. Uh, you can keep clicking as fast as you click. Those points will go up to whatever team you want. Uh, maybe you want that landslide to get bigger. That's my preferred thing is just like eviscerate the other team. Just be like, yeah, I thought that team was good. They can win on their own, but they still need my help. Or one of, another favorite thing to do is just like randomly click button. Just like throw those points away as many times as you want. Maybe you just like chaos. In fact, we're just about, we do have a winning side. It's fleece Ooh. and geese are red. That's right. <coughs> that means five points to the silly geese, which makes our score. What, Thomas P. Clone? Uh, that's the Chicago bosses are trailing by one point with five and our three, one, two, ta uh, silly goose ta island tap rooms. Have you been on the tour? Uh, they have free glasses and the pretzels are pretty good. Parking is available if you need it. Uh, you can go and take an Uber there or the train ride and up to a 1.3 mile walk away from the CTA uh, is in the read with six points. Great. I love it. Uh, captains to the screen, please. Hopefully by now, Kate Hello. will have put the knife down and stop eating cheese. <coughs> That's dangerous. All right, so Captain Simon, Captain Meg, wow. We are neck and neck here. Especially if it's a goose, it's pretty close. It's a long neck. Um, Simon, you're raising your hand. Go ahead, I'm gonna call on you. Thank you. I was just wondering if I could have a bonus point because my team name is concise. Um, I'm gonna have to decline you on that because somebody's always the bosses and you, there's you, it's a preset thing. But thank you oh. for asking. Um, but I will, uh, Meg, hold your horse, hold your geese here. Simon, thank you. Uh, I will turn that frown upside down because I will let you call this next game, our last team choice game or head to head game, rather. Thank you. That apology accepted, loyal fans. I made a mistake. Uh, Captain Simon, what game are you gonna call? Well, I guess if uh if that's the consolation prize, then we're going to play Blind Background Freeze. Ooh. Captain Meg, what are your thoughts on that? Agree? Disagree? My thoughts are agree, and I'd like another bonus point. All right. Field your teams, everyone. There's no, no point points offered. Loyal fans. In the game of black, background, blank, background, freeze. What's going to happen is... Um, our players are going to be turned around. And uh, when I tell them to stop turning around, they're going to see a picture of hopefully something that Ryan Ford, everyone give it up to Ryan Ford, sixes and sevens in the chat, um, will be plucking from previous things in the chat, or if you really want Ryan to find a picture of something, put it in now. Um, and they're gonna have to make up, make up uh, jokes face on that image. All right, loyal fans. So y'all, here we go. I'm gonna ask my my teams to turn it around, turn it around. All right, and when I blow my whistle, you will see a marvelous, marvelous picture come up on the screen. Um, all right, for the game of blind background freeze, I said it correctly, thank you, thank you. Uh, here we go, folks, turn it around. Our, and there it is. <laughs> Take a look at that. Katie, make that sweet joke. Hey, Cat in the Box. It's 
not you. It's me. I just, uh, I don't want any more of it now. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, we're can stay, can stay, can stay turned around, everyone. We're going to do rapid fire a bunch of jokes. So, Captain Meg, um, here we go. What do you think? I took a cat and crossed it with a terrible dictator. What'd you get? Meow, say dumb. Great, I'll take that as a joke, Simon. What do you got? Oh, this is one small step for meow kind. <laughs> Cat, God's sake, what you got? Um, I'm going to kill you with this. I'm going to kill you with this dog. <coughs> you can't die. You're a catty cat. You have died last. Love it. Chip a Quan, what you got? To infinity and Bed Bath and Beyond. Oh boy, that was cute. That was very cute. Um, Kate oh Cohen. Uh, hey, did you hear about the cat in the box? <laughs> no. no. He was feline fine. <laughs> All right, turn around, everyone. Turn around. We're done with these kitty cat in the box jokes. All right, and here we go with our next picture. Turn it around, folks. All right, Chippa Kwan. Give me that joke. Dipping sauce? <laughs> yeah. Alright, Cat Godzik. I crossed um I crossed a garlic pod with an espresso machine. What'd you get? What'd, What'd you get? get? Uh uh I don't know, but it's re a real pesto. Oh, that's that's cute. It's a real that's pesto. Cute. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> you're in for some, some trouble. <laughs> All right, turn around, everyone. Turn around. We're done with this. Oh, I, I will never know. World never know about I got that. one. It's Papa Joe's. Uh, okay, yeah, that was cute, Aquan. All right, let's get in the. Oh boy, and turn around, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Katie Waldron, what you got? I'm sorry, grandparents in a washing machine. It's not you. It's me. You're just too dirty for me. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, Meg. Whoa. Where do we put our keys? <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll take that as a joke. Um, Kate. Uh, hey, baby. Are you a bunch of dirty clothes? Cause I'd like to take you to a room where we keep uh, with a furnace in it and, and put you <laughs> in a washing machine. All right, me. and Simon, yep, and Simon. Okay. 185 grandparents in a washing machine walk into a bar and the bartender is like, what'll you have? And they both say, soft water. <laughs> and that's it. That is the game of uh, double five freeze black backdrop freeze. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hope you don't get your whirlpools mixed up because that couple of folks did. <laughs> okay, <laughs> point for me because I love it. I'm gonna need you all to uh, vote in that poll right now. Which team did a better job of that game? Who made you chuckle a little? If neither team made you chuckle, um, then vote based on who you like more. You know? Go ahead and do that. That's right. Um, so, oh, that's right. There's multiple things you can for. Uh, which team did better? The Chicago Bosses, the Through and Two Goose Island Brewery. Have you been to the tap room? The puts of our great thank you, Thomas. Keep clone. Oh, Thomas B. you have to mute yourself. I think we have a hard time. Yeah. 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 And it looks like the Chicago bosses got yeah. this point. Which means, uh, I believe that means.
means the Chicago boss is 10. And this really gives you six. Great, great, great. And um, captains, to the screen, please. Thomas B. Clune, if you have uh, Twitch running in the background, turn it on now. All right. Um, everyone, captains, um, here I am for you. Uh, we now, it's a very, and it's not as close as we thought it was before. Um, but we got to play six things. It's our hardest game. And that's going to figure out who is winning today's uh, comedy sports match. Yeah. So um, to my captain, oh, captains, um, who are you going to send out as your guesser for six things, the hardest game in comedy sports? Uh, captain Simon, I'm going to go to you first. Who are you sending from the downtown Chicago Bob? We are going to send our fiercest competitor, Katie Waldron. Ooh, I love it. I love it. And Meg Kennedy, who are you sending? I'm going to send my favorite niece. Oh, that would be, um, that would be Katie, the lock in house. Love it. Love it. All right. Perfect. Well, um, great. Now that they're being sent away, loyal fans, this is where we're going to really need your help. And we are going to need you to um we're gonna need you to start throwing some suggestions in the chat all right and six things is a game where we take some of those activities that you gave thomas b clune before at the beginning of the show and we're gonna switch things up y'all have been here before you know how that works so i'm gonna go uh, i'm gonna do things one three and five thomas you'll do two four and six so number one it's play putt putt all right so in the um, what I need from our loyal fans is I want you to type in there a bunch of finger food, you know, like that food at parties that would for sure get you sick from eating. And then I also want you to put in, in, in the chat, your favorite books that you love to read. That's right. Or maybe ones that you just like looking the pictures of and that's fine too. All right. Ooh. Oh, Amanda Brock. Thank you. So the activity is putt putt. Um, but instead of a, what is that called? A, a golf putter. Yeah, we're using lady fingers. So the golf putter is lady fingers. And um, you're not playing on the green. No, 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 no. You're, oh my gosh, you, that's right, Robster VA. We are playing on the book Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. All right. Um, so that's how it goes. We're taking things and replacing them. Thomas P. Clune, what you got for uh, activity number two? Uh, absolutely. Activity number two is uh, cheering on soccer. Uh, so let's uh, let's take away the game of soccer uh, and the, the the activity that you're watching is um, what's something that um, what's something that you only do at your grandmother's house. Like, um, uh, like, you know, uh, get a, a butterscotch candy. Uh, go ahead and type that into the chat. And um, your voice, uh, what is, um, what's a, a, very, a, a cartoon character? Uh, go ahead and, and just like type in any cartoon character. Your voice is that cartoon character. Um, and so let's, uh, Let's say uh, you are not watching soccer, but you're watching um, flipping through photo albums. Um, and um, your, your voice is Donald Duck's voice. Great, great. Excellent. And now we are on to activity number three, which is putting dishes away, putting dishes away. Loyal fans, um, I would love for you to throw in the chat uh, your favorite childhood cartoon that you would watch, and um, also a a band that you really enjoy now, like you know top forties, top forties singer and or band. So um, for putting dishes away, uh, let's see, your dishes are of course. Um, your dishes are Scooby-Doo and uh, the cupboard in which you are putting those dishes away is Hootie and the Blowfish. Thank you, Allie does improv. It's 
Hootie and the Blowfish, of course. They are today's top 40. If you listen today to things from a couple years ago. All right, Thomas, up to you. We're on to uh, number, number four. four. Yep, uh, number four is picking up after a dog. Um, but let's say the, the bag that you're using to, to pick up the, the dog's business. Um, what's uh, one of uh, the states in the United States of America? Go ahead and type that into the chat right now. Um, and let's say that the place that you are picking up uh, after this dog, it's not like your neighborhood or your, your backyard. Um, what's, uh, what's like a, a TV show that you enjoy that is on the air right now? Like, not something that is already done and you're like binging again on Netflix for the 50th time, but like something that's like already on the air right now. Um, so the bag is the state Oklahoma and, uh, you are on the set of... Uh, Grey's Anatomy. Oh, I love it. Love that. All right. Perfect. And we are on to our last two activities. For activities five and six, um, I'm just going to remind you all, these ones are worth twice as many points, so we're going to make them a little bit harder. So, loyal fans, <coughs> it's Women's History Month. I want you to throw in that chat a woman that um, has changed your life or has made major changes for good in the world, all right? And I would also like you to throw in that chat um, your favorite thing to touch, all right? Whether it's a little soft bunny, or maybe you like a very dry chalkboard. Some people are into a lot of sensory stuff. So your favorite thing to touch, minding the out of bounds foul. Remember, this is comedy for everyone. So um, here we go, Pegasus Farming is our activity. And of course, um, uh, the Pegasus is, ooh, we've got a lot of really good ones. Um, I'm gonna go with Francis Perkins. Francis Perkins, thank you Amanda Brock for that fantastic suggestion. And the farm um, that that Pegasus is on is, oh, Pad Connolly, you're correct. It's a now, these are harder because this is um, the hardest, this is the worst number. So, uh, that, is, that is thing number five, where the Pegasus is Francis Perkins and the farm is a huge ball. Go ahead, Thomas, for our sixth and final thing. Uh, absolutely. Our last thing is throwing a magical ring into a mountain. Uh, but instead of the ring, what is your favorite thing to put on top of a salad? Go ahead and type the, that into the chat right now. Um, and instead of tossing it into to any old mountain, um, <laughs> what is uh, what is an item of clothing? Uh, so the, the ring is sunflower seeds. And uh, what's, what's like any other cool clothing? A tank top. You are tossing it into a mountain of tank tops. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, excellent, excellent. Give yourselves some sixes and sevens, loyal fans. Throw them in the chat so we can clear that out of here. You know what I'm saying? That's right, clearing it out of here. And um, Thomas, I would love you to bring back our uh, Kate I'm, and Kate. I'm the doing it. Topic. I'm doing it right now. I'm texting them. I love it. I love it. Um, perfect. Uh, loyal fans, thank you. More sixes and sevens. Please, please. I don't ever want to see chick feet ever again. <laughs> Let's get yeah, that out yeah. of the chat. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So uh, here we go, loyal fans. As you know, um, as we get our folks back here, these teams are going to go back and forth against each other. They're not going to be able to use uh, regular English. The English they'll be using gibberish, and uh, they'll be using mime to try to get these guessers to guess these things. All right. So um, with that in mind, uh, you know, be ready. Here we go. 
Royal fans, it's time for our final game. The game of six things. We will start with our bosses. All right, bosses, there will be a minute and a half on the clock. Uh, and remember, um, Katie, you have to do be to be doing the activity for me to stop that time. Okay. All right, don't just yeah. give me a thumbs up and a high five. Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Bosses, are you ready for the game of six things? Yes. yes. All right, here we go. Begin. Is <laughs> Uh, is a full bloop blink. One minute. One minute for me. Is a mmm nom 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 nom. Oh, is a floop mmm 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 bloop bloop boop floop 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 floop. Sweet spot. Hum nom 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 nom. Hum nom 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 nom. Hum nom 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 nom. Is a Boop, boop, boop. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Ah, you jump on me! Excuse me. Ah, la hua la hua mana? It's a kahwe. Hua la la It's a um um. Ah, don't do Oh, look. It's a 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 look. It's I am playing seconds. golf, but my golf club is not a golf club. It's actually chicken fingers, and I'm not playing on the green. I'm playing on Into the Wild, the book. Ooh. I will give you golf. I will give you golf, um, and the rest is not correct. It's right. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. I'm, I'm giving you golf. Okay. All right. Okay. So you have ten, seven seconds seven se to yeah. uh, lean yeah. it up uh, and go for it. It's time! That's time! Alright, Katie, yep. what are you doing? So, I'm playing golf, but the golf, the field itself, or the green, is not a green. It is actually into the, into the wilderness. And you know what I'm, I'm, the golf club itself is lady fingers. Ooh, well you got the lady fingers right, the green is oh. wrong. Um, Kate Kahn, can you steal, what, what are you doing? You know I can. Uh, I am playing, you said it's golf, so I am playing golf. The, uh, my club is a lady finger, and the green is not a green, it's the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, that is correct, they did indeed steal, they did indeed steal, that's right. And I know, Cynthia, I can't believe you let them say golf when it's putt-putt, but you know, for most of America, that is golf, so deal putt -putt, with it. Putt-putt, mini-golf. You're upset. Yeah, same thing, same thing. Uh, all right, we are on to activity number two. So we've got the three, one, two, silly, filly, willy, nilly, gooses. Here we go for number, activity number two, begin. Oh, and 
Papa, 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 Fourteen seconds. All right, perfect. Kate, what are you doing? You know I'm watching soccer um, or football okay, if you're anywhere but in this country. And uh, I, instead of like the the screams and the cheers coming from myself and my fellow spectators, it's actually the voice of Daffy Duck. Oh. That we're hearing. And, <laughs> well, that's not true. That's not uh, true. And then the uh, the team that I'm watching is not a soccer team. It's just a bunch of scrapbooks. Oh, wow, that's also wrong. So you got the activity, um, the cheer you need to fix up, and the activity and the replacement for that third one needs to be cleaned up. Uh, we have 14 seconds. Great. Uh, do it. Watching soccer, and my cheer, my cheer is Donald Duck, yep, and sure is. and the soccer, the people I'm playing soccer with are pictures for a scrapbook. Oh wow! You know, From a family I, trip. That's that, that I went on. You're still wrong. Um, it's <laughs> the thing that we missed was the people watching the soccer was a photo album. It wasn't the team yell. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Right? Tough but fair. But it was Tough still it was still entertaining to watch. Thank you. All right, so we are on to activity number three. Bosses are up. All right, here we go. You got a minute and a half on the clock. And oh, yum 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 yum. Oh, nom, 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 nom. oh he's a seconds. Thank you. Uh, Katie, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm putting away dishes, but Correct. the dishes are not dishes. They are the TV show Scooby-Doo, and the um, cabinet itself is actually none other than Aerosmith. <laughs> All right. No, you are putting away the dishes. Yeah. You're very close on the, uh, the actual dishes, and... Okay. Unclose on the cover. No. So here we go. Uh, you've got some time and uh, 33 seconds to be exact. Do some stuff. It's never, it's never, it's never, but Cassandra is ever got a Elsa Spruce gives you as a wall. 30 seconds. Oh, shut up. Alright, that is your time. Yes. 
You've got uh, uh, eight, eight seconds. Great, thank you, thank yes. you. Katie, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm putting away dishes, of course, but the dish itself is Scooby-Doo. Correct. Okay, cool. And the um, the cabinet itself is none other than Hootie and the Blowfish. That is oh, correct. Damn. Very good. <laughs> yeah. With time left over, can you believe it, loyal fans? Well, no. You need to time. All right, here we go. On to the 312 Silly Goose Islands and all that other stuff. Uh, let's put a minute and a half on the clock. It is time for activity number quattro. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, it's a Oh, it's a Oh, it's a It's a Oh, it's a Oh, One minute. One minute remaining. Eh, it's a baba wada ba It's a baba wada ba 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 ba. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to do that. Okay, now it, I can stop the time with seven seconds remaining. Okay, you know I'm picking up that dog do. That's right. Uh, because I'm a good neighbor. I'm picking up that Jew, but the plastic bag is not a plastic bag. It is the state of Oklahoma. Very and uh, and I'm not walking through my my neighborhood. Um, I'm uh, I'm walking through a thing I forget. So give me again. All right, let's clean up that last thing that you forgot. Here we go. It's a Hi. Better okay, great. I'm picking up that. that do. My plastic bag is the state of Oklahoma, and I'm doing it on the set of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> and you got the points. Okay. Wow. Wow, everyone. It's close. What's the score, Thomas? Because I have no idea. Uh, the score is... Give me one second. Oh. <laughs> uh, it is... Uh, 15 for the bosses and the 312 Silly Goose's Brewery. Have you been to the tap room? They have uh, tours that you should go on with free glasses. <laughs> the pretzels are really nice. If you need a friend to go with, you can text me and I'll go with you. We can go and have a matching set for Meg's glass. Have, have, six, have 16 points. <laughs> Great. So, wow. Uh, thank you, Ellie Does Improv. It is, the barn is smoking. All right. It's smoking. It's one point away. Reminder, loyal fans, <laughs> these last two items are worth double points. What's double five? Oh, it's 10. Okay, single oh. math. All right, so here we go. That means they're harder. Downtown Chicago bosses, it's your turn. You get a minute and a half. What's wrong, my boy? I just look up oh, the Oh, 
trying to figure out what these things are that you're doing none of them of which are correct i'm gonna give you a hint a pegasus is is involved i'm gonna allow that okay but it, you're not riding it all right so here we go we've got some times left it's 18 times and times are minutes seconds seconds here we go not minutes and clean it up it's like a woman a cop with that fun. It's about woman a it's about like a chook. 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 Yep, I'm going to Oh, but the farm is not a farm. It happens to be one of those stingrays, those fishes with the spikes on them. The, you know, like a pew, pew, pew. I know what you're talking about. And, and then, go to the next thing. Yes, and then um, the the um, pegasus, the pegasi are not pegasi. They happen to be the, um, the... The tr the trail the what's the trail you know the trail with the it the doesn't train. matter it's, it's thank you you can explain that all you want but it's still thank you Brian Mira you rock all right so Kate Cohen can you feel you know I, I can. You can I am running a Pegasus farm my Pegasi yeah. are women's suffrage and the farm is Gak oh Gak oh it's not but thanks oh. for guessing that. Um, you were close on the the Pegasus. The Pegasus is specifically Francis Perkins. That's right. And the oh. farm is a Koosh ball. A Koosh ball. Koosh ball. It was in there. Right. Yeah. We'll get it back. Everything else was. All right. No points awarded, which means, ooh, are the flames still flaming? Is the smoke happening? Yes. We're on to our sixth thing. That's right. Can the three one twos and that a paragraph of stuff that they are get this final activity? Let's find out. Minute and a half on the clock. Oh, as a papa, what a papa, oh, as a papa, eh, what a papa, ah, oh, the whoa, as a papa, eh, ha, hat a papa, oh, oh, the papa, oh, oh, the papa, at the papa, huh, huh, huh. Oh, the papa! Oh, what the papa! Oh, whoa! Yeah, oh! Eh, what the papa? What the papa? Uh huh. See what is now? Eh, the papa? What's it? It's a ha! Push! Push! What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Remaining. Great. Thank Don't you. Don't need them. 
Great. We'll find out. Kate, what are you doing? Great. I'm throwing the one ring into the fires of Mordor. My Great. one ring is a sunflower seed, and my Mount Doom is a halter top. Oh, you're close. My that Mount Doom is rock. <laughs> you have time. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Come on! Is a piece of the pizza? Is a. It's a. Five! Four! Oh, the papa! Oh, the papa! Fine! That is time! No more time is left! I mean, it's all there. I got it. What are you doing? Great. Great. Let's find out. Um, I am, uh, my, my, uh, I'm throwing the one ring into the fires of Mordor. My one ring is a combine that is farming up a bunch of sunflower seeds. And my, uh, my Mount Doom is spaghetti strap tank tops. Oh, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. You, uh, you mixed up some stuff there that you didn't need to. So I can't give it to you. Okay. Because you said your ring was a combine uh, filled with things, and I can't allow that. Uh, so, Katie Waldron, can you yeah. feel? Yeah. What's what's happening? Tell me what. So, I'm throwing the one ring into Mordor. My ring is a sunflower seed, and Mordor or Mount Doom is a spaghetti strap. Tank top. Oh. Is it what? Tank top. Spaghetti strap. Tank top. I will give it to you. It is tank tops. It is tank tops. There is no oh, man, tries. line in there. And let me tell you, loyal fans, the bosses just did it. They just took that barn and threw it on fire. And that is the game. Yes, and with the final score of the bosses 20 in the 312 uh Brewery tap rooms, uh, you need to go there because we all need glasses. Got 16. Uh, and for our losing team, we have Kate Cohen, Kat Gunsick, and Meg Kennedy. And our bosses are winning team Chip McQuan, Katie Waldron, and Simon Collier. And the host of everything, making those uh, calls all night long, we have Cynthia Kamak. Uh, well, I want to thank uh, Ryan Mira, who's been on Cheese all night long, and behalf of myself, Thomas B. Clune, and Ryan Ford, doing stage managing all night. I'd like to say good night, everybody. We'll be back here next Thursday for another CSE match. Stick around for another show right after this as well.